I don't have uh, this journal handy. It's in a box in the garage. But I strongly suspect that this reference is packaged in the midst of my trying to discover what it is that prevents us from being who we can be, what keeps us in our shells. And for me, it boiled down to doubt and fear. And their complements, their complementary uh, partners in our own frame of reference would be desire and belief. You know, doubt is how you are just unsure about yourself, about anything. And fear is paralyzing. You know, sometimes you just have to deal with it. And I know it's difficult for people. But think of the polar opposites of doubt and fear as desire and belief. Now, desire as in, you know, a pure version of this, as in what do you really want? Oh, I want to be rich and I ever want to have a lot of things. And No, no. What do you really want? And what it usually boils down to is you want to have somebody to care about, somebody who cares about you, something that makes your life meaningful and allows you to give back and be part of a community larger than yourself. These are basic human needs and desire and belief the idea that you can overcome your doubts and fears. Not by wishing, I want to be president of the United States. Well, you know, obviously some people become president of the United States, but there have only been 45 of them since our country was founded. So it's not as if there's a lot of opportunities for that. But if that's your dream, go for it. In the Mac Lab, I want you to understand that desire and belief, this idea that you could start your own business, oh man, I could never do that, I'm no good. Well, you can learn how to be good. You can follow instructions, pick up on all the tips that I'm sharing with you and practice, practice, practice and work at it if it's something you would like, if it's something you would desire. Hey, wouldn't it be cool to have a job? that paid you more than you could make flipping burgers somewhere? Wouldn't that be cool? And it paid you every month if your product was good enough. All right, before I get too carried away with that, let's just come back to week 28 because there's some things I want to point out. We got the week 28 DP, which is similar as usual this week, but it's going to be drastically different next week. And that's where 9D, 2D comes in into play. So 92 date is for everyone. Everyone's going to pay attention to that and the week 28. Hey, look, there's a new quest here. And there may be even more new quests, depends on when I get up in the morning. But I want you guys to understand this week and next week, nine days to deliver. 92D. What is that about? Well, there it is right there. You figure it out. This is big because 10 days from now, the day before spring break, we have a presentation. So next week is going to be a very different week in here. You're going to have to pay attention to what's going on here in order for you to know what, what you need to do so you don't have doubts and fears. So your desires and beliefs can come true right before spring break. Yeah. <laughs> 